Hello everyone. Well, there isn't a live stream today because I'm on the LFS bus tour that my club does once a year. And while I'm out doing that all day long, I thought, what on earth can I put on YouTube? So what I did was I grabbed a bunch of clips that I've been filming over the last, uh, I don't know, a couple of months. When I built something, I kind of filmed to show what it was. So it kind of gives you that 3D effect instead of a photograph. So that is what this video is going to be about. It's things that I sell from my shop. I built a lot of internal overflow boxes and I get requests for corners, middle of the tank, floating, coast to coast. So here are just a couple that I've made recently. This is an internal overflow box that I built. I call it a floating overflow box because it typically sits along the top of the aquarium and drains out the back through the glass wall. I also make a lid for it, which is made of black polycarbonate, and I oversize it intentionally so that it hangs over about a half an inch on all three sides which creates a shadow so that plants don't grow in the teeth. And also if you're floating a bag, it would stop against the edge instead of blocking and obstructing the flow of water out of the tank. Another overflow box. This one has a you know, polycarbonate lid like many customers order. This box will be silicone to the back of the aquarium. And it was made extra tall because of the way the holes were drilled in that tank. Was, there was a mistake. So we're fixing it with a better box. This is a smartphone floater. You can just set your phone right in here and take video or pictures from above of your aquarium. And it's got legs, so that way the viewing pane doesn't get scratched. Here is a skimmer stand. This one is 10 by 10 by two and a quarter inches tall. And I make them in all different sizes. These are lids to go on top of overflow boxes. This one is, they're all made of black polycarbonate and this one fits on top of that shape overflow box. Uh, I sell a lot of these, so you guys must have a lot of tanks like this. And then I also make one now for the Planet Aquarium overflow box that is this shape and these dimensions. And I only have the one listed on my website, but I actually make one that's longer for a bigger overflow box. These are two different top-off containers. This is pretty much the standard one on my website. That is eight by 12 by 20. This is a larger one, custom made for a customer, that's 18 by 18 by 18. They have a lid that sits on top to keep it nice and clean inside. There's a notch here for a power cord for the pump that's pushing water back up. There's a hole in the back here for tubing. And this customer asked for a hole here for a float valve to be installed. This one is the way it normally comes, with the notch, and then with the hole for the tubing. This is an auto feeder chimney that I make that fits both the Eheim as well as the Apex AFS. And it comes with a couple of pieces of Velcro. This piece would go underneath it to secure to, for example, the top of your uh, overflow box lid. And then you've got a smaller piece here that goes on top to hold the feeder in place, just to keep things a little more stable. But I've been using these on top of my tank for years. They never move unless you do something to knock it in there intentionally. And this is my other peacemaker. This is the one I started with many years ago. This one's 22 and a half inches long. Put a cup there for a sense of scale. It's made of quarter inch acrylic. This is a polycarbonate lid. It keeps the fish from jumping out. The top piece is made of 3 8 That way it won't bow when it's sitting on the top rim or your bracing of your tank. It fits on the trim and keeps this part in the water. This box is 12 by six by eight inches tall. And like I said, the length was 22 and a half inches. A small inside overflow box. This one has the bulkhead already installed in it. That's no way to build it. This will fit on the inside of an aquarium. And there's a lid that goes on top that will keep bags floating against it but not blocking the teeth, keep the algae from growing in the teeth. This box should measure around up to 1,100 gallons an hour. This is what I call the rimless peacemaker. And it hangs on a rimless tank right on any part you need. It's got holes on this side and this side and this side for water to flow through while it's hanging on the tank. There's a lid that removes. It also fits in there and won't go anywhere. And it's got a small feeder hole right here. <clears throat> the back side has no holes because that is your viewing side to see the fish. It fits up to three quarter inch glass. This is 12 inches by six inches by eight inches tall, plus the hook part. There you have it. 
So those are just a few of the things I build. You can always check out milosreef.com for other acrylic products that I build, as well as a plethora of dry goods that I offer to my customers. And I ship all over the place, all over the US. I ship to Canada, I ship to Mexico, I ship to Luxembourg, to Brazil, to Italy, to the UK. Uh, we just need to figure out what it's gonna cost, you know, to get you a quote so you know what to expect. And I hope that you saw this and thought it was kind of interesting. You know, it's nice to kind of get a visual and see some of the things that I make. I spend a lot of time making things so they look just right. I, I really care about the quality of the product. And it's almost like an artist, you know, and each one that goes out is special to me. It's not just, oh, I make that. And, you know, I don't cookie cutter these things. Each one matters to me. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and we will have a live stream next week.